pieces of the tire shot upwards toward the underside of the left wing, puncturing fuel tank number five. Somehow, the jet fuel that came pouring out ignited. The photos taken from the runway corroborated this scenario. What happened next began to emerge from analysis of the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder. The flight data recorder showed that just before takeoff, engines one and two lost their forward thrust. The aircraft, now powered only by its two right engines, three and four, veered off the runway onto the concrete shoulder and nearly into the grass. The pilot pulled back on the stick to get the plane safely in the air. At that moment, controllers in the airport flight tower saw the fire and radioed the plane. Concord zero, four, five, nine, zero, you have planes. You have planes behind you. This was the first indication that someone realized there was a problem. The plane lifted off at 223 miles per hour, 16 miles per hour slower than minimum takeoff speed. Four seconds later, the flight engineer announced. Failure engine two. A fire alarm then went off in the cockpit. Shut down engine two. The captain ordered engine two shut down. Engine fire procedure. Watch the airspeed. The airspeed. The airspeed. The aircraft desperately needed to gain speed so it could climb higher. The captain gave an order to raise the landing gear, which was creating drag on the plane. We are on the track. Yes, Roger. The gear is retracting. Suddenly, engine one regained some of its thrust. The tower again warned the crew of the fire. It's really burning, and I'm not sure it's coming from the engine. Four five nine zero seven. called out the name of a smaller airport nearby, hoping an emergency landing might still be possible. Engine 1 lost thrust for a second time. Now both engines on the left side were dead. The plane banked hard left, almost on its side. In a desperate attempt to keep the plane from rolling over, the captain shut down both right engines. He was able to level the aircraft. With no engine power whatsoever, he made a last-ditch effort to glide the plane down to the ground. However, moments later, flying at 120 miles per hour, the pilot lost control. The scenario pointed to a serious flaw in the Concorde's design. The high-tech skin covering the fuel tank was just over one millimeter thick and vulnerable. If the BEA was right, a piece of 